Hello guys, OneUp Indie here coming with the newest uh, update on Opera Maker Studio 2. So basically pretty sweet and good uh, updates. So just give a quick rundown what uh, what's actually happening and therefore we can see like, hey, where we are heading. Pretty interesting stuff. So here, uh, the first part you can basically skip. Of course, link in the description below if you want to read the whole thing. This is just basically uh, run on Ubuntu, Chromebook system, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, why not? They want to uh, enlarge their pool of users. This is not a bad thing overall. Then filters and effects. This is the kind of interesting part. They want to add new effects to it. So as standard motion blur, film grain, glass water effects, fades, weather effects, which I already did. So I got a thing <laughs> about that too. And they and night sykes, which is pretty sweet. And this is one of the very interesting parts the ability of, to apply filter and effects to a single layer before that it was just the top layer on which you do and all the bottom ones below that boom getting applied but here you can apply it to a single one which is pretty sweet also so once again making uh, shaders and cool effects available to everybody not just the uh, guys who actually uh, <laughs> waste their evenings with the like why is this not working the shader what and then now it will be streamlined. So this is pretty cool. And the ability to create and share your own filters and effects. So basically you can create a filter and effect and then boom, and you can have your content creator and then they will just say like, hey, uh, this is a plugin, you can have it. And boom, you can instantly use it and abuse it. Cool stuff. Then WebSockets, this is basically for multiplayer. Um, so this is about secure WebSocket. Not so interesting for me right now, but of course, this is if you want to have multiplayers, why not? And um, by the way, um, they want to make it a little bit more accessible. So this is one of their focuses for the future. Then they have this action button. As far as I understand is that you uh, kind of, um, if you, for example, press one button, and this is then, for example, map to the keyboard, to the gamepad, to the mouse or whatever. So multiple um, sources of input can trigger an action and then they kind of want to streamline that uh, to uh, do something. Before that, you had to do that manually with lots of checks and so on, and maybe they want to make it easier. Then the inspector and workflow, the most interesting part is because they just say like blah, 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 make this easier and accessible and you can uh, um, well, change stuff easier with the inspector, yeah, whatever. But the new code, and editor combined with the inspector will replace the current code and object editors. This will be interesting to see what they actually mean by that. So um, I guess I have to check out the beta to, to see what they actually do there. Then GXC monetization, they want to have something similar to Steam Wallet. What are they doing? Are they trying to build like, let's say, kind of a competitor? Well, not really competitor because they cannot for that. They, they are not big enough. Yeah, but make their own platform like Steam, but the small version of it, but of course just the web. Who knows? Um, we will see because this is then uh, rewarding you for watching ads. So this is what Steam Wallet kind of is. And then Packet Manager, don't know, no, nothing to say. And then once again, and then once again, if you have some feedback for them, ask us nearly anything, nearly anything. Yeah, and then you can go to this forum and just ask like, hey, what kind of features can we have? And yada, yada, yada. And of course, here, once again, if you want to um, give them your time of five minutes, then uh, fill out the survey so they can know like, hey, what do you want, what you don't want? So why not? Gathering information is never a bad idea because in the end, this will go into the IDE and then what's being done in the future. So once again, pretty good stuff. I kind of applaud that Opera Maker is making the efforts to <laughs> include the community more or less and then give us a heads up where they want to head to. So once again, pretty good update, pretty solid stuff. The Opera stuff, not sure where to go with that. Hopefully we will see in the future what they actually want to do with it and what their plans are. Alrighty, that was it from my side. If you have any thoughts about this uh, or if you have different opinions or opinions totally to this kind of stuff, hey, give me a comment because I'm always curious what you guys think about that stuff because this concerns us all. Alrighty, have a good one. One happy.